race day shoes. So they actually did injure me. I always get nervous doing this session because... See if this holds. Hopefully it doesn't fucking snap on me, please. It is Tuesday the 12th of September and today I've got my race day shoes. So these are Hoka. Got the Mach 5s. This is the colorway. I think they look pretty fresh. So I'm looking for a shoe that's a little bit more speedier. At the moment, I've got the Clifton Nines, uh, two pairs of them, and I've kind of just been using those in rotation. So with these ones, hopefully they give me the response that I want. And yeah, today we got a quality session. Thursday, we got a tempo, 16K. So I want to use these prior to that. So they're ready for Thursday. So I got the shoes on right now. They're looking pretty schmick. All right, guys. So we are about to get into the quality session right now. I am a little bit nervous going into this trying on new shoes in the past it has hurt me before so using the nike tempos they actually did injure me but these ones are different these ones don't have anything to kind of like change my running form so i'll let you guys know how i go post quality session we just got it done shoes feel pretty good not too bad um hit all the metrics hit all the paces that i need to hit so yeah overall Nothing bad to say about these shoes, baby. Let's go, Mac 5s. <laughs> 16 kilometer tempo run. I'm getting my warm up in, 15 minute jog, and then I'll do some activation stuff and sprints after. We're getting it in. Longest tempo, get this one done. We started to taper down. These are the sessions that simulate race day. So for me, I always get nervous doing this session because there's that fear there, right? Like if you fail, you stop, it kind of tells you that you're gonna stop on race day. So these are the sessions to really build that mental fortitude and mental strength to know that, hey, race day comes, Melbourne Marathon comes, they got this shit. So I'm gonna do some activation, I'm gonna do some warm ups, and we'll get into it. All right, guys, so we just finished up the tempo session. I feel really good. I'll recap it once I get back. <sighs> what a session. All right, guys, so this is post tempo session thoughts. I had probably about like a 10 minute drive home, and I was just thinking about the run because that run. I went through so many emotions <laughs> like it was crazy like from being locked in at the start to feeling good feeling pumped up to knowing this this is our longest tempo and then we start to taper down so i had like a little bit of joy and excitement enjoying the weather all that type of stuff and then once it started to get hard moments of doubt wanting to give up wanting to call it you know battling with a weaker version of francis and then coming out on top by not giving up, not giving in, and following through with what you said. And there's something about that. There's, like I mentioned in the videos prior, it's my weakness is at the end, I wanna give up. And I think that's normal for everyone. You know, when things get hard, you know, it's easy to give up. But I think I felt it now, you know, in those past runs where I notice personally for myself internally when you give up it's probably one of the worst feelings in the world because you knew you could keep going but what gave out wasn't your body but it was your mind and this time around even though 9k's in every single kilometer after that i wanted to stop i was able to utilize those tools that i mentioned before to persevere and to get past those hurdles. 
the shit never gets easy it really doesn't but the fact that you could face yourself on a weekly base to face your demons to face the weaker version of yourself and to see if you could come out on top there's something really amazing about that so i'm really grateful i'm really happy i'm pumped up that we finished that tempo session that i followed through with my word and i didn't negotiate with myself but yeah shoes are good the session was good and i'm pumped up but that's it for the video please like comment and subscribe let's go and let's get it essentially the race at the half marathon burnley oh fuck i full fuck that up um